Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Yes, and I'm making this video for the people that um that want to know the whole process when making a design. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all. So yeah, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using this this image of this guy bleeding from his head. And yeah, I'm just erasing the background and I'm just cleaning off the the background so it's just the head and the face that I'm going to add in, so. Once you got it all cleaned though, you want to go to image, adjustments, and gradient map to make sure it's black and white. And then you want to add this super dark gray near the black. And I do this just so the image is easy to work with. You guys don't have to do that step, but I do it just because, yeah. Then you're going to want to duplicate the image three times. So you have three um, layers in total. You have four layers in total, what the fuck am I saying? And if you don't know how to duplicate your layers, just press Ctrl J and you'll be good. That's the duplicate shortcut. Once you got that all done, you wanna go to filter and then filter gallery. Um, for this one, I don't know why I didn't record the part, but I added grain, which is in the texture tab. I then added a torn edges filter, which is on the sketch tab. And the settings are image balance 12, smoothness 15, and contrast 1. Once you've done that, you want to go to image adjustments, threshold, confirm. Then you grab your wand tool. Then you want to check anti-alias and contagious. And you select the, the black just so you have the white. Once you're done with that, you want to go to your layer styles, color overlay. And since we're working with skin, I'm, I'm going to be using this dark brown. And for your braids, what the? For your base, the color is always supposed to be dark. Once you got that done, you want to click on your second layer, which will be the mid tones. You press Ctrl L and you bump it up to 60. For the third layer, you want to do around 120, 130. This one I go with 129. And for your last layer, which will be your highlights, um, you can do around 200 to 10. Holy shit, bro! This process takes so long. Like I'm getting tired of making this tutorial but yeah this is for you guys so yeah you go to your second image right here i press ctrl alt f which is the filter gallery it does it for you instantly but you know i ended up looking wrong so i go to filter gallery again <sighs> you know the deal torn edges and then grain for the torn edges i go with um image balance 20% and the rest is the same. Then you want the threshold again, confirm, you should want to, to get rid of the black and you pick the color that's, you know, the mid range of whatever color you're using for this one. We're gonna go for like this mid orange, you know, like still brown, but going orange. Now for your third image, you're gonna use a different torn edge um, setting, which will be, 12 image balance and the rest is the same and threshold confirm that you want to you know get rid of the black look at color this one's gonna be a look a high high type of color very bright and on your very last here you're gonna want to hit ctrl alt f which applies the filter gallery on its own then you have threshold again confirm that you want to get rid of the black and you got your highlights you know we're gonna keep them white because it's the highlights and that's pretty much it for the tutorial you know it's it's a bright detail and you can see that's a lot of steps to this um process but you know at the end it's worth it and you can make some pretty sick designs with this thank you for watching love y'all